My name is Josiah Northern. This is my partner, Adam Gallegos. We're both firefighter paramedics with the Castle Rock Fire and Rescue Department. Today we're going to be going over C-spine immobilization on a trauma patient. First thing you need to do is make sure you're wearing gloves or that you verbalize body substance isolation precautions are taken. And I'll direct my partner, Adam, to hold manual C-spine immobilization. With Adam doing that, I'm going to do a quick assessment on my patient and check for sensory, neuro, and circulation functions. Squeeze my fingers. Check for pulses. Which finger is that? Pinky. Which finger is that? Pinky. Same with the lowers. Pull up. Push down. Check for pulses. We're going to select the appropriately sized C collar for our patient. We want to measure from the earlobe to the clavicle. And when we measure on our C collar, we're going to apply it. With that in place, we're going to prepare to roll our patient so we can get them on the backboard. And before we do that, we want to make sure our backboard's in a good place so we can reach it. When we roll our patient, we're going to have our partner at the head give a count of one, two, three. One, two, three. With our patient rolled up, we're going to assess his back. We're going to look and visualize for any bruisings. So with our board in place, we'll lower him. One, two, three. And then to get them centered on the board, we're going to do a Z pattern of up and back down in a straight line. One, two, three. One, two, three. We always secure the torso before securing the head. And with the torso secure, we'll secure our patient's head. We want to reassess our sensory motor and neural functions. Squeeze my fingers. Which finger? Pinky. Which finger? Pinky. Check pulses. Pull up. Push down. And then we want to note any void spaces in the neck or in the legs or in the back and pad those. This concludes the spinal immobilization skill and we prepare for transport. Today we're going to be showing you the spinal immobilization techniques for a seated patient in a simulated vehicle. First thing we want to make sure we have on is our body substance isolation. You can verbalize that in the scenario or you can wear gloves. I'll now direct my partner to take manual C-spine immobilization. As Adam's doing that, I'm going to come in and do a quick assessment on my patient. Squeeze my fingers. Which finger? Pinky. Which finger? Pinky. And check pulses. Which toe? Little. Which toe? Little. Pull up and push down and check pulses. We want to select the appropriately sized C collar. We're going to measure from his earlobe to his collar. The C collar in place. We're going to slide our device down the back of our patient.
With the torso secure, we'll now secure our patient's head. And we want to pad any voids as necessary. And so now with the patient's head secured, we'll reassess. Squeeze. Now put your finger. Peek. Check for pulses. Pulses in the feet. Push up. Pull down. Watch your toe. Little. Watch your toe. Little. This time we'll move our patient to a long spine backboard. You can verbalize that in the scenario and initiate transport. This concludes this scenario for spinal immobilization in a seated patient.